Suicide rate in Minnesota is dropping overall, but remains higher in rural parts of the state. A new report by the Department of Health shows last year there were 815 suicides, which is down from 860 in 2022. Joe Mason, look into why suicide rates are believed to be higher in greater Minnesota than in the Twin Cities. In her chair at Wild Child Tattoo and Stacy. Tell me about it. Artist Katie Smithers' clients become her friends. You get to know people on a deeper level. Many of the people Katie works on live in small towns, and she's not surprised suicide rates in Minnesota are higher in rural areas. I feel like the resources just in, out in this general area maybe aren't as prominent in this area than it is down in the cities. According to the Minnesota Department of Health, the state's suicide rate dropped last year. But rates are higher in parts of greater Minnesota than in the Twin Cities metro. Not a surprise. We see that nationwide. Monica McConkie is a rural mental health specialist. So there is definitely something about rural that's driving rates of suicide deaths. She believes poor access to mental health care and a stigma surrounding it add to higher rural suicide rates. Get rid of the Minnesota nice thing and, and check in on people. If someone was in a car accident, we would stop and help because we can visually see they're in trouble. If we visually see or sense that someone's in trouble emotionally, we need help. Monica says you don't need a mental health professional to get help. Sometimes it could be a friend, a pastor, or a tattoo artist. I just felt like I needed to do something. Not long ago, Katie stepped in to help a client after she said she was in an abusive relationship. Yeah, and it makes you want to help people that need it. In a rural community where many are far apart, help may be closer than you think. In Stacy, Joe Mason, 5 Eyewitness News.